At the EU Bank, we have heard these warnings. We have listened to the calls from the COP26 presidency and the international community on how public banks like ours must do more to save the planet from global warming. In general, EIB will support only a low carbon projects with a corporate if it is not engaged in such incompatible investment in its wider activities. The whole idea is to bring together countries from all around the world who are trying to grow the global market, including for green bonds, by having not just robust definitions, which are very important, as the, the President said, but ones that work across the global markets. The world will not reach net zero by mid-century through a single silver bullet, but through the emergence of a number of innovative solutions that together will make a difference. The EU Catalyst Partnership will help accelerate the adoption of new technologies and solutions, scaling them up, that is very important, opening the path to their mainstreaming and ultimately making them more affordable so they can be deployed, deployed around the world. The European Union has bound itself to reduce emissions by at least 55% till 2030. And of course, these clear directions and guidelines cast in law will drive innovation, which in return is necessary to achieve the climate goals we have set ourselves. Together, we will build a green industrial revolution, one that stops climate change and puts the world on a continued path to progress. more volume and more impact. Here in Glasgow, EIB uh, has announced a, a tripling of uh, its adaptation finance by 2025. And for us, it represents a, a significant increase and uh, an important contribution to accelerating adaptation investments across the world. We are doing something that uh, people must be aware that we are doing the biggest reshuffling of wealth across the globe. And uh, this reshuffling cannot generate a new uh, wave of poverty. We need everybody to win a bit so that the world moves into a climate uh, resilient stage. The EIB is a true climate bank now, and that's happened in less than three years. And that's in the, in the financial sector, banking sector, that's a revolution. We are talking about, in particular, countries on a global scale, which are, because of their demographics, because of their location, because of their uh, natural developments, particularly um, affected by climate change. And therefore, in order to make them climate change resilient, we need to invest a lot. And this is exactly the right issue for EIB, because we always see climate, innovation and development together and I think we have a strong offer to make.